Howdy folks, welcome back to part two of opening up the Sword and Shield booster box. I'm joined here with my tag team battler cat. Welcome back. And so last time we opened up this half, we got some really great pulls, um, very exciting. So hopefully that carries over into this half. That is quite the stack. Yep. So we have plenty of Pokemon... Uh, to see plenty more to collect. I haven't even done the math on uh, what we're missing yet, but by this point, uh, if you're following our videos in order, then you will already know. But we'll see if we can pull any more uh, very awesome, very cool Pokemon. And uh, which deck are we going to start with here today, Kev? Is it going to be the Snorlax or going to be the Lapras? Let's start with Lapras. Okay, you heard her. We're going to start with... Lapras for the first half of the second half of the box. Okay, so uh, what am I hoping to pull? I'm hoping to pull Stonjourner V. That's what I want. I want that more than anything from this set. So that's what I'm going to keep hoping for. Alright, code card. First energy of the day. Dark. Ooh. Starting with energy retrieval. Ferrothorn, Heatmore, Sobble, Maractus, with that weird z attack. <laughs> it is kind of odd. I don't know what that's about. Mudbray. See, Stampede, Rear Kick, I get it. What is z it? I don't know. Cut Up, I get it. I unfortunately get it. Store Bunny, Sizzillipede of the Reverse, and the very end, a Poltegeist. Is this how the last episode started? Uh, <laughs> pretty close, right? Pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. And t today, we're going to win, hopefully, a little more. Well, if it's going to be anything like the last one, then in a couple packs, we should expect some great something things. Something amazing. Yeah, well, we'll see. Oh, see? Metal never... St uh, never uh, metal, metal. Metal, metal. What do you do? Well, we're probably going to get something good. Uh, quick Ball, Mantine, Nicket, a Chin Chow with a gentle slap, Diglett, <laughs> look it up. I love that attack. A gentle slap. Yeah, it's, it's a gentle slap. He's a gentle Pokemon. <laughs> uh, there's Ferroseed in real life. A very cute Goldeen. Reverse Hollow Rotom Bike. I think we already have this Reverse Hollow. And at the very end... <laughs> Your favorite Pokemon. Cinderace! Hi! Hello! One moment, folks. We gotta get a kitty from behind the recording studio. Our cats will sleep all day, and then as soon as we start recording something, they hear our voice, and they're like, oh, time to play. Yep. Well, they, they're just so interested in what we're doing. I know. Well, hey, you know, if they can co-commentate, i let them, you know... I'll let them hang out here instead of Ditto. He's not doing his job. <laughs> well, they have to work on their own collections, too. Yeah, they do. I'm sure that they have uh, uh, quite the stash somewhere. All right, Dotler. Uh, Squire. Another Great Ball. A Roselia. Joltik with a flop. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, still, I don't know if I would like that. Silicobra. You should see how Joltik moves in, in the games. I don't want to. <laughs> now with the new uh, Sword and Shield expansion. Hey, Reverse Hollow uh, Musharna. Aww. We saw that last episode. At the very end, Indie V. Oh my god. It's the angry version. It's, it's, it, it's so cute, but it, it's, look, it's trying to be intimidating. <laughs> I think it's I think it's intimidating in its own way. By putting on a pouty face? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and turning its little ear croissants down. Ear croissants? <laughs> they look like they look like croissants. You can't convince me that they okay, hold on. They look like croissants. Okay, yeah, I can see it. Anyway. Uh code card. Off to the side. Whoop. 
just fanning out all the cards like crazy. What am I, a professional? I've already said I'd be bad at my job if this was my job. All right, starting off with a potion. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right on. Out of gas. I would never do that. Yamper. Absolutely. Through not. the flowers. Diglet. Clava puss. Woo. Oh, looking so sweet. Why are all the cute art like the rarer version? <laughs> Even though they have the same rarity. Maractus. Well, maybe something might be short print. I don't know. And the very end, I grab locked. Again, making up for all those... For all the clobopus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'd make a great grapple lock deck. Is he competitive right now? <laughs> well, watch out. Coming to not a game store near you because... Uh, whoops. That's not how code cards work. Whatever. Are they still running tournaments now? I don't know. Ooh. I imagine they might have to. Hey, another balloon for the collection. So uh, that's what, 97 now? Maybe. Hmm... Yeah. Kingler, uh, Pinkerton. I had a har the hardest time trying to figure out how to pronounce this thing's name. Because I know it's supposed to be a pun on pincushion, mm -hmm. and it's an urchin. I don't know. Urchin. Yeah. Flip bug, <laughs> Rhyhorn, uh, Minchino, uh, Minchinchow, uh, Mudbray, at the very end, a Noctowl. With the ability to carry things off. Uh oh. Watch out. Save your small rodent-like Pokemon. Don't even, let them wander alone. Even if they're in the top percentage. Why, hi! Hi! How are you doing? Water? With that water energy. Oh, who needs this lame version of bead? Watch the last episode. Raboot! <laughs> Rare candy! Is that Tinto? Was that Luring Glow? Mm. Followed by a Krabby. And that really cute Mentino. Oh. Glaring Ponyta. Cottony. Hey. Got another one. Very cool. And increasing that glow. Yep. At the very end, a Drapion. Oh. I think we only have the reverse hollow of that, so. Do we have that art style? Yeah, I believe so. I might be thinking of a different one, though. Not too sure. Yeah. This is a difficult pack to open. You know what that means? It means it's going to be really good. It means I have to edit it out. Um, for the code <laughs> card. Uh, three to the front. Psychic. Psychic energy. Nice. Hey, a Lumberry. Lumberry. That looks tasty. What does that do? What does that do? Um, in this one, it, uh, recovers a Pokemon from a special condition. Hmm. Corvusquire, Galvantula, Scorbunny. Yeah, because you haven't played the Pokemon games where, like, the berries are in them. No, I have not. And so you only know the berries from Pokemon Go. So, yeah, they, they do different things. Uh, Grookey, whoop. Cufint. Oh. Very cute. Cufint. Whatever. Yeah. That was, that's the whole point. It's cute. A Vitality Band. Okay, okay. That's cool. At the very end. Another, boy. Another doubles. Owl. Doubles so quick. How quickly we accumulate the. Well, we've been pulling a lot of rodents, I would say, so. Have we? Well, you know, a few. So we need to balance it out with more predators, with more owls. Ah, I see, I see. Starting off with that fighting energy. And then, hey, there's a Galarian Linoon. Very cool. Um, energy switch, fish sharp, bell toy with a spinning attack. That cute Tincho. That snake Sizzillipede. Uh, Zigzag Unigo go with that Linoon. Muna, Ferrothorn, at the very end. Ooh, a Turtonator. What the heck is that? Um, this is probably in my top ten least favorite Pokemon. I just don't like the way it looks at all. But yeah, it's a fire dragon type. It's very spicy. Ugly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just not a fan. Not a fan of it. I would never put one on my team. I would. I, I'll say that. All right. There's a code card. What energy we're we gonna pull? Um, lightning. 
Nope. Close. How? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, potion. Hey. There's the other half. There's a Hitmon chain to that Hitmon Lee. And another line in. Otherwise, kind of cool. Or maybe the linen. Uh, Ferris Seed. Goldine in the pond. Roselia getting blown away. The flop and Joltik. Uh, so the Cobra. Is that Goldine again? At the very end, another Cramorant. Another dorky looking bird. Like if I shine it just right, you might think it's hollow foil. <laughs> I don't know. Its eye is just. N- oh, it's, it's a crazy a million, looking Pokemon. Million mile stare. Not a thousand, a million. Yeah. I think it's yard stare. Yard? Yeah. Well, All right. I mean, emphasize it. Miles. Okay, that was the first half. Um, a little underwhelming. One, yeah, but... one V, but that's okay. This this half will make up for it. Because we're already starting off with this really cute blip bug. But we'll get there in a minute after we pull the fire energy. Alright. <laughs> Close. Opposite. Seeking. Yes. Ordinary rod. Feed. Blip bug. Having a nice day in the field. He just looks so proper. Uh, Goldine going for a dive. Yamper. Diglett. Man, we always see these two again. Come on. Well, you know, (laughs) hey, it's different. I guess. And then at the very end, Drapa. Another never-ending story. Yep. Part two. Yep. The sequel. Yeah, how many doubles we pull? (laughs) That's a a never-ending story. (laughs) I'll tell you that for free. Oh, boy. Okay. The, the the amount of um booster pack wrappers next to me is staggering. Alright, back to the Hitmonlee. With a rare candy and a lucky egg. That is a stacked Hitmonlee. Rare candy and a lucky egg. Heck yeah. You Lulu, going on. Sobble, Pinkerchin, again, Dapper Blipbug, Rhyhorn. Ordinary Rod, Reverse Hollow. I think we have two of these now in Reverse Hollow. At the very end, ooh, there's a Centiscorch with the 100-foot flame. Ooh, you would not want to run into one of those. We're going to wait for this train to go by. It's always fun living next to a um, an active train line. Uh, come by quite frequently. You'll hear them in a lot of the videos that we make. Yeah. Doesn't matter what time of day you record, they go off at all times of the day. Yeah, they always seem to catch me when I'm coming home from work, whether that's mm-hmm. early or late. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's on purpose, too. I, I do pay them extra for that. <laughs> what? All right, Mankind, <laughs> Crushing Hammer, Switch, Minchino, Tincha with the Gentle Slap, Krogmagunk, <laughs> Galarian Meowth, Score Bunny, Reverse Hollow uh, Ninetales. Okay, or I guess okay. Rapidash. I mean, that's my that's my uh what oh. mess up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, finally! Oh, we have yeah. Feeble. The that evolution of sharp. Yeah, it's the evolution of Nicket. I think that's the first time I've um, seen that evolution. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a new Pokemon. Um, I don't think I used it in my Sword and Shield playthrough. So, I mean, I did catch it. Caught every one. We did that Pokedex within like three days of the game being up. Well, you know, you gotta catch them all. Yep. And it's pretty easy to do in this generation. Getting a little bit harder with the DLCs now, though. Okay, let's start off with a Ferrothorn. A Raboot. Is this the new Raboot? There's a, we're missing a Raboot. I don't know which Raboot we're missing. Uh, Lumberry, Sinistee, Maractus, Pikachu, Clearing me out again. Zillipede. Everything here looks pretty, pretty uh, normal. Crushing hammer at the very end. Ooh, oh, man. boy. Is that four? Yeah, that's a Lapras V Max. Not a V. V Max. V Max. Not Mermaid. Merman. <laughs> that's looking cool. That's yeah. a cool looking card. Very cool. Very excited. Um, I think that's our second G Max card. Or, I guess, the V-Max in this game that we've seen. Another one being the Dragapult. 
Um, so very cool to get that, especially because we have the, the Lapras V. So uh, get that nice little set uh, collected. Yes. That'll be nice to put in that nice sleeve, extra yep. protective sleeve. Right. And now the question really just becomes, can we get anything out of these last five packs? Well, stay tuned. We haven't really gotten too much out of this uh, second half of the box, so hopefully uh, they have some pulls for us. Like a Pokemon catcher. Or a Drizzile. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah. Evolution Incense. Grookey. We've seen, we've seen this way too much. Uh, Qfint. Uh, Bal uh, Baltoy. Or Baltoy. Chinchow. Cezillipede. Uh, Glarian Zigzagoon for the reverse hobble. And at the very end... Whoa! Ooh. Oh my gosh. The Zamaventa V. What that a pull. What a pull. I think this is like one of the one of the pricier cards from the set. I don't know. I'd have to double check my my uh, my price catalog. Ye old price catalog. Anybody remember having to look at your how valuable your cards were in a book? I do. Do I still have that book even with me? Yeah. Anybody anybody remember these? These old things? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Might have to do a video on that book by itself. It's definitely very nostalgic to me. All right. Well, I don't know what more I could ask for. We got a, a VMAX card. We got a couple of Vs. We got a full art trainer. I mean, what more could, could this box really be holding on to? I don't know. Um, a gold-plated one? Metal. Metal's always good. All right. Salazzle with the cool watercolor, colored pencil type art. Bisharp. Cool. We kept seeing all your, your pre-evolution, but... Yeah. Pokemon Catcher. Glaring Zigzagoon. Muna. Snorm! Dang it. I said Snorm again. Snorm? <laughs> I don't know why. All right. Grookey. <laughs> Shoulder. I think I just hear the way you're... I know, because I am. I'm making a reference intentionally <laughs> to a show people no longer know. <laughs> All right, and at the very end of this pack, a holographic Gengar. Ooh. Now that is sharp. Life Gengar shaker. is always a, a fan favorite. I think it's actually one of the favorite Pokemon of the creator of the game. Hmm. But I think he flip-flops on what he keeps saying his favorite Pokemon is. Well, so. I mean, there's hundreds. There's yeah. hundreds of Pokemon yeah. to choose from. The more Pokemon that come out, the harder it is to say something is, like, my favorite. Like, I definitely have, like, a top 40. You I know. mean, you could pick it from each generation for sure. Even then, though, it can be pretty tough. All right. Fire. You know what? I think for the last three packs here, we're going to do something... A little bit special. Okay. I'm going to take the rare card. Put it down. Okay. All right. Take a look at it later. Okay. Hey, there's a Haunter to go with that card. Followed by a Vitality Band. Raboot. Yeah, this is the art we have. So that other art was new. Mawile. Galarian Ponyta. Looking funky fresh. That's Cotton Candy Mane. Sabo. Maractus. Mudbray. And then, ooh, another Oranguru. A Reverse Hollow. Again, I think this art looks really weird. It's very reminiscent of, like, 2010 comic books. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something about it. The art looks funky to me. But, that, I mean, that's only the second... Uh, Oranguru we pulled. Oranguru. And, it was, and it's been reverse hollow both times. Oh, has it? Uh-huh. I think the normal one's hollow foil. Oh. I thought uh, the first one we had pulled was a rare. I mean, it is rare. Or, I guess at the very end, is what I should say. No, it was another reverse hollow. Okay, okay. Code card again. All right. One, two, three to the front. Brought to you by the lightning energy. Put a card down. And now, hello. Hello. It's Sudowoodo. Hop. Our friend. Yep. Dottler. Ponyard. Saw your um, big brother earlier. Squirrel Bunny. Nick it. Nick it night. <laughs> Chin chow. That's not even a joke. Uh, Diglett. <laughs> and a reverse hollow. 
Aurora energy. Ooh, that one, the Aurora looks so yeah, cool. Yeah, this like little bit right here. That looks very nice. It does. I mean, is it just a different type of energy, or is it a stand-in for? No, it's a special any energy. Type of energy. It's a special energy. Okay. Um, uh, pouring on Z, which we'll be opening a little bit later. Whoa! Snom! Snom! <laughs> um, Porygon Z has, a, has an ability that lets it uh, interact with that. So, three to the front, and get rid of the grass energy. Cards up front are Salazzle, Surprise Duck Trio, Pokemon Center Lady. I think that's new. Mm. Snom! Grookey, Shelter, Mawile, looking for a friend. If you know any. Eh. Galarian Ponyta. Wait a minute. The reverse hollow is here. Didn't I put a card down? I didn't put a card down. I gotta put a card down. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Just had a heart attack. I was like, did this, did this pack have like multiple rares? Oh, man. <laughs> this is our second time getting a reverse hollow Inteleon. What's up with that? All right. And the grand finale that we've all been waiting for, we're going to see what these three rare cards were at the end. Bum, 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 bum. Starting off with a reverse hollow professor's research. Ooh. I love hollow trainers. Very cool to see her. Mm -hmm. Followed by a Torkoal V. Oh, nice. That's amazing. A V so right good. at the end. And at the very end, the hollow Boltund. Oh my god. Gosh, Finally, that's new. with all the yampers, we can have a bolt on. <laughs> we have so many yampers. Yep. <laughs> all right, so that's wild. The last three cards were hollow or better. Great end of the box. I Definitely. thought I thought that the second uh, half wasn't going to be nearly as interesting as the first half. Sure, didn't have the rainbow card, but it had a lot of fun surprises, especially there at the end. So, uh, folks, this was our first booster box. Um, we might be doing more of these in the future, um, but definitely look forward to uh, next time where we're going to open up this uh, Porygon Z GX box. So a little bit older material, but look forward to it. Uh, I hope that you've had a good day, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.